I know sometimes people hide behind a mask, but I thought Jacques loved me. I was wrong. Still no email, guys. Nothing about the audition. Don't be so down, guys. There's still hope. Good morning. Well, mine is gone. He betrayed my trust. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Hashtag be on your toes, Maggie. Okay, students, as you know, tomorrow's the day we have the grand ball. And as you know, you must go in couples. <laughs> Choose who will be your partner. But most important are the hats. Yeah, that's right. It's something like a masked ball, only the emphasis is on hats. So we're looking for simple outfits for creative hats. And the two people with the most creative hats will be rewarded with... An extra credit! Hats are underestimated. They can have magnificent elements of style on them. They enhance an outfit. So, well, go on! What are you waiting for? I need to find a cool partner. A cool partner with an awesome you hat. You like it? I bought this hat online. It was the hat worn in the last scene in King of the Universe. <laughs> Very cool. The hat, not the person who's going to wear it. Bye! Is a bomb about to go off and nobody told me? It's excitement. Balls have that effect on people. Why does it have to be some lame mask ball? It won't be hard for you. You're used to hiding behind a mask, aren't you? Coward. Traitor. So why did you decide to do a masked ball with hats this year? We wanted to combine business with pleasure. This is a fashion school, after all. <laughs> anyway, a masked ball with hats is more romantic. Whatever you say. Anyways, you know you can count on me to supply the refreshments. I assumed you would. Is it too much for you to say thank you, huh? Perfect. You're welcome. Beautiful. Not so sure, Bianca. Oh, but getting that extra credit would help you, since you failed that last exam. You're so sweet. Thanks for the advice, Nausicaa. Awesome idea. A hood that covers your whole face. No one will even know you're there. That's great. I won't be recognized. I hate wearing masks. You going to the ball together? Yes. I came up with an idea for a mask that's gonna rocket. But I'm afraid of rocketing to outer space. And you? Who are you going with? I still haven't found the right person. You mean your soulmate? She has to be beautiful. Clearly you haven't been to big parties. You don't want a stunning girl. Why not? Because if you go to the ball with a beautiful girl, it becomes a nightmare. Is that true? Yes, it's a bit like, well, you know baboons? No. Uh -oh. When a male baboon is in love, he has to keep circling around the girl baboon to discourage other ones from taking her. If you take a pretty girl to the ball, the same thing happens. It must be really difficult being a baboon. That's why I still don't know who to ask. <laughs> He still hasn't decided? Who do you think you are? How are you doing? Do you know what kind of hat you're wearing? Are you okay? Maggie, let's get out of here. The air stinks in here and I can't breathe. Pretend like we're talking and don't turn around. I said don't turn around. Just tell me what's going on. Quiet, it's shock. So what? He must want to apologize to me for stealing my sketch. Mm. Maggie, I know stealing your sketch was wrong. I hope you can forgive me. Would you do me the honor of being my date for the masked ball? What do you say, Bianca? Uh, um, I... We're the coolest in the school. It just makes sense that we should go together. Sure! <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Really? Uh, sure it does! <sighs> well... Okay! Ugh. Great! You should have invited me when you had the chance, Quinn. You snooze, you lose, Quinn. Do 
million forty-five, two million forty-six. Are you okay? Sip it, or you'll make me lose count. Look, if it's going to be a problem for you, what? Uh, come on, cause you and that fool going to the ball. <laughs> It doesn't bother me at all. It's just that if it did... I said it doesn't bother me at all. Buenos dias! What exactly do you think you're doing? I'm helping you make your hat, Nina, for the ball. Yeah, okay, but I was thinking of something a little um, simpler, you know? No, no, no. Simpler. Ha! It means a lot to her. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen her working without complaining. Do you know, Nina, I remember when I was about your age. I also had the chance to go to a grand ball. What happened? What happened? Josephine ruined everything. Josephine? The hurricane. Oh. <sighs> what I would give for another chance, but it's impossible. Instead, Nina, you'll be the one to shine with your gorgeous new hat that's going to be the most elegant, the most stylish, and most fashionable. Hey, that boy you're going with, what's his name, Jacques? Two million forty-eight, two million forty-nine. What's wrong with her? I don't have time to worry about other people's problems. I've got enough of my own. Ha, huh, yeah, sure. It's over for me. Bye, Jacques. That's it. Prepare to be green with envy, Quinn. Here comes my date for the ball. We're gonna tear it up. I just can't wait to dance with someone who knows what a fouette en tournant is. Yeah, and I finally get to dance with a real dancer. Someone who trained in classical ballet. It's gonna be great. I'm sure we'll be the winners of the night. Naturally, we're born to win. <laughs> hey, America. What do you want? So what do you say, huh? About what? Me and you, the ball. Are you inviting me? Yes. Oh, yes, I'd love to go to the ball with you. <laughs> uh, uh. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, that was my eardrum, bro. Sorry, Max. No, I didn't send anyone a fax. Who was I sending a fax to? Ah, ah. This tablecloth isn't on straight. You want to lose weight? Oh, no, 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 please don't. You're beautiful just the way you are. That's <laughs> uh, a real pity, huh? That I'll be so busy tonight. I mean, very busy. Otherwise... Otherwise? <laughs> I would have loved to have danced a waltz or tap danced. <laughs> yeah, I really would have loved that. It's going to be really fun tonight. Nice music, dancing. Do what you want. You want a croissant? You sure thing? I envy you. A ball is a wonderful opportunity to dance. Aren't you going to be dancing? Oh, well, you know, it can be difficult for someone in my position. You know, as headmaster, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to ask someone like the professor over there to dance. You know, I haven't danced in 10 years. <laughs> That's nice. How about you? What are you gonna wear? I've got someone working on it for me. You mean like a fashion elf? Oh, poor thing. What do you mean? A fashion elf who works for long hours on your hat, but isn't invited to the ball. There must be something seriously wrong with your mind. I'm going to go check on my elf. Say hi for us. I can't wait to go to the ball. Yeah, me too. I also can't wait to see who Quinn ended up taking. Why? Oh, don't you know? Know what? <gasps> Did you hear that? No. I thought I heard thunder or something. It was far, far away. You were saying? Uh, Quinn said he was going to invite a really no. ugly, uh, brutally, uh, brutally ugly, extremely ugly girl. No, no. no, someone that no one would ever think of inviting to the ball. Cause that way he thinks oh, he'll have oh, a more oh. relaxing time. Huh. Oh, he wants a relaxing ball? Hey there, how's it going? Just great! Oof. Hey. Huh? You shouldn't have told her that he wanted to take a brutally ugly girl to the ball. Hey, I didn't know that Quinn had invited Maggie. But didn't you hear them talking before? No. How could you not? We were sitting right behind them when he asked her. Uh, I was too busy working on my mask for tonight. You lied to me. I thought you said your hat was done. As a matter of fact, I'm working on the mask right now. Yeah, well, you're finished because I need the black fabric. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
<laughs> this is how much I need. What are you gonna make with that tiny piece? The best mask you've ever seen! Yeah, right. This coming from a boy who's all muscle and no brain? Get ready for disappointment, because I'm going to be the one with the best mask, obviously. My hat is very- Zip it, fairy! How can you dress as a fairy for a ball? Because I want to. I can, can't I? You're pathetic. <laughs> Do you want me to help you with a little bit of my magic? Yes. Disappear! <laughs> <laughs> If there is no room for honesty in this world, then I'm also going to hide behind a mask and a hat. Hashtag no hat, no party. Hashtag eye for an eye. Maggie, I told you it was a misunderstanding. And I told you to leave me alone. Everything okay? What do you care, Jacques? You got a problem with me, bro? Why, should I? Uh, this is about Bianca. Look, I don't care for her at all. You gotta believe me. <clears throat> no, what I meant was... Stay uh... away from me. <laughs> Hi, Nausicaa. Nice hat. I bet you'll get extra credit. How did you know it was me? Huh? I'm wearing a hood that covers my entire face and neck. How did you recognize me? Well, I... What? I can still see you. And where is your hat? Uh, you said I... you had this fantastic hat, remember? Can't you see it? No. My hat is invisible. I'm the invisible superhero. Oh, yeah, right. You dressed up as a... Superhero? Listen, you're not a superhero just because you wear that mask. You don't understand comic book legends. Do what you want. It was a friendly piece of advice. <laughs> For you, madame. Oh, beautiful. Marco! Give me a soda water. Huh? A soda water! Oh, yeah, sure. Coming right up. Uh, soda waters. Give me the whole case. Okay, the entire case. Everyone wants the entire case. You want one? Hey, uh, what's the matter with you guys tonight, anyway? There you go. The little fashion elf you hired did a wonderful job. You look absolutely beautiful. Ding! I know. <sighs> Your fashion elf shall be rewarded with a magic spell. Ding! Oh, yeah. Here you go. Here. You want to disappear? I know what I you mean. It makes you just want to cut loose, doesn't it, Marco? The poor headmaster. Huh? What do you mean? He's feeling the burden of loneliness. A lot of people are lonely. They're just waiting for an invitation. I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh. Oh. I want a soda, but just a sip. Why did you say so in the first place? Check out this dip. Ah, ow. Forget it. I changed my mind. You didn't like it? Oh, my goodness. Who are you? I'm not here. I'm just leaving. Don't worry. I know that you're the fashion elf, and I'm your fairy godmother. I'm a what? I know you also wanted to go to the ball, right? I don't understand. Everybody has a dream. Yours is to go to the ball, 
Mine is to be a fairy and make dreams come true. But I'm just a servant. I know. That means you should probably have a pumpkin carriage drawn by some mice, but I guess we'll just do what we can. <laughs> This party is a huge success. Everyone is having fun, and I'm stuck with the wrong date. You're not dancing with your date? You too? I have a sprained ankle. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and I'm just... Staying away from Quinn for a bit. Hmm? He's so overprotective. Quinn? Yeah, Quinn. Would you care to dance? I would love to. <laughs> Music. I just got an email. Bianca, listen. Maggie, you've got a... Hey, Nausicaa. I give up! Listen, have you seen Edward? I can't find him. He's disappeared. Are you crazy? He's right beside me! Edward? Yes? Wow, great mask. What'd I tell you? You don't mess around with superheroes. We've got to talk. Check this out. Did you tell the others? They're not talking to me. I need your help. You said it was an emergency? What is it? The mood boards passed the audition. <gasps> Gozy, who are they? Us. It's the name of our band. What band? Yeah, we're not a band anymore. Nobody cares about it. Hey! Come on, guys, what happened? We're all friends and we have a band. I want to do this music thing with you. Good luck with that. That's enough! Take those masks off. Be yourselves. And be honest with each other. I say, your dancing is fantastic. Thank you. This is my dream come true. <laughs> the music was magic. And my handsome dance partner was just as wonderful. <laughs> oh. Maggie, you weren't very nice. Me? What about you? And what about Quinn? Yeah, Quinn too. Wait, you're also mad at Quinn? Is there something going on between you two? What are you saying? I'm angry with both Quinn and Jacques. Me too. Okay, okay, stop. We acted like idiots. And we're sorry. And I want to apologize to Maggie in front of everyone for what I did. I'm so sorry. I betrayed your trust in me. I'll never do it again. And guys, we passed the audition. <laughs> Go see! Let's go dance. It's important not to hide behind a mask, especially among friends. Talk to them before misunderstandings become arguments. Happy to have made peace with my friends, and Jacques in particular.
This is gonna be great. <laughs> For you, madame. Hey, Allison, it's the last dance. <gasps> then we announce the winners, okay? It's the last dance? I didn't get to dance the whole night. My dear Miss Tucker, would you care to dance with me? No, absolutely not. Ugh. If her stomach's in knots, then why does she want to dance? To finish off the evening, we will now announce the winners for the best party hats. <laughs> the winner for best hat created by a boy goes to... And now for the girl with the the best sequins, sparkles, and style. The winner is the beautiful and mysterious lady with the tender heart. That's me! That's me! That's me! That's me! That's me! Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Dolores? No, no. I really have no business coming here. But why? I have to go. Adios! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my dear, sweet, tiny dancer. Till we meet again. Oh, she left one of her shoes. Hmm. <laughs> a 13 double wide. Now that's a delicate foot. <laughs> Is she completely mad? She's not getting away with this. Bianca, come on. Let's go celebrate. We made it. Yes. I found something really cool. Congratulations! Wow, they rock, but what's your point? Uh, they're your first competitors! <laughs> Is it too late to withdraw from the contest? We'll be annihilated. 